Do not, whatever you do, throw out old computers. If you've got old desktops, old laptops, Windows computers, Macs, don't just throw them out. Don't just get rid of them because you can give them another life. Resurrect them and make them do something different. We're gonna give you seven things, seven ideas for you to not just throw out your old computers and give those computers another life. Hey, you doing? My name is Emilio. I run a tech channel. Of course, you can see it right here. Why don't you subscribe? Click on the button on the bell. It doesn't hurt to click that button on the bell because I release videos every single week and you'll enjoy them. You're either in IT, you're looking at getting into IT. Can I recommend to you an amazing website Website called Course Careers. Course Careers has an amazing course that is perfect for you starting out in technology and giving you insider knowledge on the industry, on what's going on, by also helping you get your resume and CV with the information that is needed. Throughout the whole process, Course Careers will also help you to land that job. Something that is great is that they actually partner with companies that want to hire students that have gone through their program. So definitely check them out. Go and look at the website down below using the code Emilio50 and start learning more about IT. So what could you do, you ask? You know, what's the point? They're just running slow, they're sluggish. They're not able to do what I want it to do. What could I do with it? The first one is media server. Yes, what is a media server that you ask? Well, do you have movies? Do you like movies? I like movies. Do you like recording videos when you're traveling, when you're going out with friends, when you're at a restaurant, you like recording food? I like doing that sort of stuff. I've actually got another channel, Eating with Emilio, if you're interested about food stuff. You can actually convert that old computer into a media server, into a spot that centrally manages and stores all of your videos in one single spot. It is awesome. I like to use an application called Plex. Plex Media Server. You can actually find it in my description in the video notes down below. I've got a link to it right there. We can grab it completely for free and you essentially install this piece of software directly onto your computer. And then what you do is you essentially convert that computer into this server that is managing all of your media. Now, the tricky bit, of course, is you're gonna to have to find where all of your videos and everything are sitting. They're probably in a lot of different locations. Centralize them, get them all together into that one single spot. You then get your phone, you get your Apple TV, whatever it may be, and then I can actually play all of that content, all of that video content on my other devices. Really cool. The next one is a NAS, is converting that computer into a NAS. What's a NAS, you ask? It's a network attached storage. So it's a storage place for storing all of your data that's accessible on the network. This is now all of your stuff sitting on this one computer. So you have all of your documents, your photos, all of that sort of stuff. Another computer on your network, your smart device, again, you can actually share all of that data in one central spot. I like to use an app called FreeNAS. Go and Google it, download it, install it. Free NAS, brilliant, convert your computer into a NAS. I love playing games, video games that is. I grew up playing the original like Mario Brothers. Mario was like my thing. And then the Zelda games and all of these other awesome games. Why don't you convert that computer into a retro gaming station? A spot where you can actually go and yes, run all those classic video games from back in the 80s and 90s directly on your computer. I know, you go and download an emulator. You can download it for free, and then you download these things called ROMs. If you go down to your local computer store, or maybe like your game store, you can actually go and buy yourself a USB game controller. You can actually plug this into the computer itself, and then not just play these games on a keyboard and a mouse. No, you can actually play it with a real life controller, as if it's like, a proper Nintendo. It's brilliant. Why don't you try that? If you are serious about security, I know I am, because you're hearing about scary stuff all the time where people get scammed and hacked and data gets taken and lost, you can actually improve your security at home by setting it up as a firewall or as a proxy. You can download some free software called PFSense. Go and look for it on Google, PFSense. Download it for free, configure it, and then you actually can convert your computer into a firewall into a spot where you can manage all of the network traffic, anything that comes in and out of your network. So nothing's going to get in and out of your network, any device on your network without this firewall interrogating all of that traffic. Firewall, check that out. Why don't you try playing with different operating systems, specifically lighter operating systems? What do I mean by that? Maybe your computer 
it's just running really slow. It was running, it was running Windows, Windows 8, and now it's just running really, really slow. You don't know what to do with it. But well, why don't you remove Windows and install something like Linux? Go and download Linux Ubuntu, Linux CentOS, completely for free. It's a full operating system. You can download it. It's, it looks amazing. You wouldn't even know it's for free because it just looks so good. And surprisingly, your old computer will start to run faster because Linux isn't as power hungry for graphics and for CPU like Windows or the Mac is. And you get two benefits out of it. You're learning something new, a new Linux operating system, but also you're getting a much faster computer. So you can actually probably start doing stuff on there and actually works okay that was running a little bit slow before on Windows. All right, now this may involve maybe just stripping the parts off your computer. You could always open it up, open up your computer. If it's a desktop, take the parts out, reuse them somewhere else. If you've got a laptop, open it up, take the parts out, the RAM, the hard drive, take them out of your old computers and reuse them somewhere else. If you've got a newer computer, then maybe grab the parts of your older computer, maybe give it a second hard drive or some additional RAM. But something else that you can do is on your old computer, look at upgrading some of the parts. You maybe don't have enough RAM or you've run out of hard drive space, go and buy a bigger hard drive, go and buy additional RAM. And then the last one, I mean, at the very start of this video, I said, don't sell your old computer. Well, this one is sell your old computer, get some cash, and then go and spend it on something else. Someone will want it to build a media server or a NAS. You could do that as well, or you could then just sell it and then go buy yourself a new computer. And something else you could do is you could actually open up the computer and sell the individual bits as well. Because sometimes you could maybe get a little bit more cash if you take the bits out, sell that individually, as opposed to the whole thing. They were my seven. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, comment, do the like thing. We'll see you next time. Thanks again. Talk to you then.